You join collector fans, this is Flyguy for TickSushi.com and also for DorksideToys.com. Continuing on our Marvel Legends Hobgoblin figures and uh, we're continuing on with Spider Girl today. We're going to get a look at that in just a second. There's the packaging. Now this comes as a multiple package which allows it to be displayed for both. So you can see down at the bottom what it says there in many languages is Warriors of the Web. And I won't even begin to butcher some of the uh, Spanish there, uh, etc. down at the bottom. So uh, just to let you know, that's what it is. So it comes with both Spider-Girl and Spider-Woman in this, not in the same pack, but it will be in the same package as such. It will be used multiple times. The reason that's given away is you can see on the back, there's the two figures there. We'll just get round to Spider-Woman in a minute. Spider-Woman, in case you didn't know, is the one with the long flowing hair. And Spider-Girl is the other one in the more classic Spidey suit. But they've just called it Warriors of the Web to just save them printing a separate package. They can uh, save a little bit of money and print the two figures on there. So pretty good looking figures. And again, down at the bottom is the rest of the figures in this wave, all of which we'll review, including the Hobgoblin, which we'll review as a separate figure as a standalone. Rather than show you the build of figure parts, uh, an arm and a leg and so forth. We'll show you the figure all put together. And that is the package. So Spider-Girl is a great looking figure. I'm very impressed by this uh, line overall. If I just pull back a little, I mean, the articulation on her is fantastic. She's just great. But it does come with a little bit of a flaw. When it's normally a female body, the joints are a little bit thinner. And unlike, say, uh, Toxin or Anti-Venom, the joints, you really need to get this thing at the package and either get a hairdryer or uh, put it in front of a warm car vent or something just to soften the joints up because they can break. I've already had one of them break on me just by uh, opening up the box and I heard something rattle and the thing had already broken inside. So uh, they can be very delicate, particularly the ankles, so watch them. So the figure, let's get a look at herself before I uh, give you safety warnings here, but just love it. It's just, it's Spider-Man just done in a great uh, female uh, body style. So I love the little uh, gauntlets here. I'm sure that'll be the ones that they've used either on Black Widow or they'll reuse on the reissue of Black Widow coming out this year. But it's a great looking sculpt on the body. Very flexible, lots of posing available. Let me just took it all the way down there. So pretty minimal stuff as usual with Marvel Legends in terms of the mold and sculpt. It's a standardized body which they uh, can use again and again. Uh, but it allows them to just uh, uh, churn these things out. And they're good looking too. Spider Lady Butt. Very shiny. Uh, very cool looking overall. I do like it again. Very flexible and poseable here. And she just looks great in scale. She is just a little bit shorter than Spidey. I'll show you that at the end, at the end of the review. You can have a look. But a great looking figure. Love the shape of her head there as well. It's just beautifully sculpted and well done. So in terms of articulation, she has a head that can go literally all the way back and almost break her neck there, and all the way forward, right down to chin, so uber flexible, and of course that allows it to be moved around. There are no other accessories in the pack uh, with the figure other than the Build-A-Figure part, so no extra hands, which is a bit of a shame. You do get two thwips uh, in the hands there. It would have been nice to get a fist or some other kind of open uh, uh, hand, but uh, sadly that's all we get on this figure. Um, in terms of the rest of the articulation, you can see the joints up at the uh, shoulders there, a ball joint up there. There are no bicep swivels on her because the joints are quite thin. The joint at the elbow is not double jointed, it is single jointed. But we do get these both swivel and these back and forth uh, uh, wrists there as well, which is fantastic. She doesn't really have any kind of major ab crunch. You can see just it's literally as far back as you can... Uh, take the figure just above her breast there, you can't move it much further forward. There is no uh, swivel waist on the figure again because it's a little slight and a, a much smaller figure. It does have those pegs up at the top of the thighs, thigh articulation, does have double joints at the knees, does have these rocking ankles but again be careful with them. Uh, please don't say that I didn't tell you. So they are a little stiff when they come out of the package. The way that she's put into the package is it kind of bends the ankles a little bit. So I think what it's done is it's caused a little tension and sometimes we've seen already boxes you can shake them around and the ankles have already came off. So be aware of that. And again, just when you get a figure, be gentle. Get a hairdryer on it. Just get it soft and move it gently back and forth and that should get things going. Great looking figure. I love this. It's still in stock right now at uh, Dorksey Toys. A link directly underneath the video if you want to go and buy it. Buy it. It's a great looking figure. Uh, I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan, but 
I'm just getting a bit more and more into the comics courtesy of Marvel Legends and uh, this is a comic series I'm looking to pick up as well so yeah, love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of Spider-Girl? Um, is it one you collect? Are there good comics that I should be reading? I'd love to know your thoughts on any good stories or uh, any kind of interesting uh, things about Spider-Girl. I might not know. Good looking figure though. Really impressed with this. Again, we'll rock on with the rest of the wave. If you're brand new to either Tech Sushi or Dorkside Toys, please do click subscribe. We'll get some reviews straight into your inbox. No hassle. Immediately, as soon as they're available, you'll get all the fresh reviews. No, no hunting around the web. We bring them to you. Uh, again, please do leave a comment uh, below, uh, click like uh, or dislike, whatever, it's up to you. We're just uh, good to get the feedback from you, and we will uh, be coming back with another review in just a second. Stay tuned. See you then.